Stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. A bank ETF and a restaurant stock on the top picks list this week. Let's get right to it. Eric Dutram, you've got the regional bank ETF that you're talking about. That's right. I'm looking at KRE. This is actually an equal weight ETF. We can look at the holdings right here. Uh, we got PNC as the top holding, uh, BB&T, M&T Bank. So we actually have an equal weight focus. You're not going to get too overexposed to any one segment. Uh, I'm liking this space this week because we've got the Fed coming up. And I think while we won't see an interest rate hike you know, in this meeting, mm -hmm. I think they're going to sort of play up the opportunity that, hey, maybe there might be a hike in the following meeting. And I think some investors might see some uh, T-bill T yields go a bit higher. And that's going to be great for the regional bank ETF space. If we look over here at the, uh, the chart, we can see that uh, KRE is actually underperforming the market year to date. But uh, after this point in, in mid-February, they've actually been surging a bit. And I think we're going to see this trend. And uh, hopefully KRE continues to uh, gain some momentum here. And I think it's going to be a great week for this number two ranked ETF. Okay. Nina, you are talking about Dine Equity, ticker mm -hmm. D-I-N. They own the IHOP and Applebee's brands, Yes. Right? Uh, in fact, uh, with uh, more than 3,700 full-service restaurants around the world, they're one of the largest full-service restaurants, uh, restaurant operator in the world. And uh, they reported uh, their results, quarterly results, um, last month, mm -hmm. which beat Zach's consensus estimates both on... Uh, top and bottom lines and that was mainly because of strong growth at IHOP brands and uh, you can see that analysts like the results and they have been raising estimates for this for the company and uh, about 99% or more than 99% of their restaurants are franchisee owned which makes their cash flows more stable and less volatile and if you look at the price consensus and EPS surprise chart, this looks beautiful because they have missed only once in the last five years. Wow. For four and a half years, they have, be they have been beating the estimates consistently. And uh, uh, another reason to own this stock is its strong dividend yield. Uh, which is more than 3.9% currently, currently. That never hurts. <laughs> which is among the highest in the restaurant industry. And uh, they restored their cash dividend in, dividend in 2013. And since then, they have been returning a lot of cash to uh, their shareholders via buybacks and via dividends. And in fact, in 2015, they returned 96% of their free cash flow via dividends and share buybacks. And, uh, and those free stacks of pancakes probably don't hurt either. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the main reason with, because of strong growth and strong uh, dividend yield that we own them in, in income investor portfolio. You do own them yes. there. Yes. All right. Do you own uh, what you talked about? I do not. Regional bank KRE. ETF? I do not. KRE, right? <laughs> I'm okay. probably thinking about Applebee's too much as well. So that's that's why you, you couldn't remember the KRE food, symbol. Food, just food in general. I mean, you know, you can tell, right? <laughs> Thank you for that. Don't forget, you can go over to Zax.com. That's our website, and that's where you'll find a lot of other information on stocks and ETFs, commentary, picks, picking strategies, all able to be linked to right off the homepage at Zax.com. If you're not there already watching this video with Eric and Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.